Hello, good evening, Professor Ana Maria and colleagues. Welcome to the summary of module four created by this your server, Oscar Gonzalez, and which group members are Julian Morina, Maria Dorado, Oscar Gonzalez, and Jose Franco for the class reflective teaching and learning in context. Um, we had the task over week four the specific teaching practices, finding myself as a teacher and good teaching practices. And so for this, and the first one, finding myself as a teacher, the instruction was post the image you choose or you chose with a phrase or a brief sentence describing how you use, how you see yourself as a teacher and add your name. And professor used a very cool, this very cool uh, site padlet.com to uh, share all the activity with the students, with us the students. So uh, what I have done is that I, I have brought um, in a very short way um, what what all the colleagues have done and let's take a look at some of them. The Navallesteras says that encouraging students to express and share their ideas in this picture here over here building ideas, puzzling, and discussing and analyzing. Um, I myself thought of the word impossible to be changed like I'm possible, that which summarizes with the heart of a teacher. Teach a student to care about themselves as much as a teacher cares about them, and teach them that impossible can be possible within them. I chose this image because I teach my students to change the negative thoughts they usually have into positive thinking. Elia Larrayo used this, uh, this image, and a very nice image, saying that by acquiring the knowledge in a meaningful and experiential way, there won't be limits. So this image represents the power for Elia and the autonomous learning. Next, Leonardo Acosta said with this picture that he felt that the perfect path is to help students not only to learn knowledge, but to create the self-esteem that they can do everything. Um, then we had uh, Jose Franco saying, just looking at the vast possibilities and light in my labor as an educator, but not alone. And then we had Julian Arcila saying, teach, and teach, it's a reflection of learn. Um, well, I teach, I'm always learning and trying new things. And we had Laura Elena Cristancho Pineda saying that I like observing my students and finding out how I can help and encourage them to work together and build knowledge. I like to teach them how to solve problems by themselves so they can do their task by themselves. I also um, uh, found this one over here that says learn online. Educators today are the many are the many collaborators, the many minds and the many hearts working toward the common goal of extraordinary student achievement. All right. So let's continue. Then we found Giovanni Montañez reflecting, is always thinking and wondering about everything. And then Edward Rees says connecting. I believe that this message represents me because I like connecting with my students and helping them connect with their interest and new knowledge. I think we all do. Also patience, it's uh, one of the values of a teacher. Best thing of being a teacher is the student's process and individual characteristics of motivation. Patience and love for learning. Patience is the basis for teaching, and teaching is the basis of social development. Maria Dorado. We have also equality uh, for Magdalena. Magdalena Slavinska. Equality, equality, trying to understand all the situations and students' background. We're all the same. Lina Marcela, do it yourself. It's about autonomy. Giving students the opportunity to work by themselves let them realize that they can do it. Uh, and then Vanessa Plata says, a powerful global citizen is what, they, what she sees. Said, I always see myself as a facilitator who helps learners to understand the world through kind lenses and to transform it into a better place to, all, to us all. Julian Fields is a tour guide. I see myself as a tour guide for students since I get to show them the most exciting 
and interesting things that they don't know. Luis Santa Cruz says that evolution, teaching is a constant evolution process. I agree. It's, we all evolve as and the students too. And says, wants to say that he's just an inspiring teacher. And Angela Perilla says, dreaming and learning make you happy helping my students to achieve their goals and dreams. Also, uh, Natalia Irinovich says that the bed bedtime story, that the main adjective is to show her students that reading is sometimes enjoyable. It's something enjoyable, pardon me. I've chosen this picture since I, since a kid, since as a kid, I really enjoy my mom and my grandma reading bedtime stories to me. So I have very positive memories connected with learning to read. I like my students to feel the same, to see that reading is fun and not bore or boring routine. Sandra Santana says that a facilitator and guide who designs tasks and games to propose a fun language teaching learning process and aims to inspiring students to potentiate their skills. Lorena Arias Vargas says that students are not just students, that being a teacher is an important is, is an opportunity for her to learn more about others, humanity, their dreams, struggles, and experiences. When you care about their humanity, learning becomes a mutual nurturing experience. Gabriel Vivanco says that keep going. This picture represents how hard we work in our schools and contexts and we definitely decided to keep going and get our goals with our programs. Classes and students in spite of everything. And Mauricio Oriza says, I see myself sharing my life with my students, teaching them to believe in their own dreams. Flying for me is something that, teacher, that teaches us to overcome difficulties and that is what I want to show in my classes. In this case, uh, with these pictures, we show how much we feel about our teaching experiences. So we came to the second part, which is good teaching practices. I imagine that you are retiring. You have to imagine that you are retiring from teaching and then write a note to a teacher who is just starting. Briefly describe what your experience and your studies have shown you that good teaching is. Then give three or four tips for being a fantastic teacher. Then we should answer one of your colleagues one of our colleagues posted, and, uh, and it's the teacher who receives the advice that was posted. So again, we had a lot of faces saying, we start with Magdalena Salominska saying that we all used to be rookies. You will find your own way, as we all did. Well, teachers are different, just like their students, and maybe that's the whole beauty of being a part of the educational environment. That's why you should be free of prejudice and judgment. Remember to always look at your students with a fresh pair of eyes. Natalia Grinovich, uh, a piece of advice, she says, never stop learning yourself. Be open to new challenges. Be curious and don't be afraid to try new things and make great things or great changes. Heidi Lorena Arias says, be observant, be open to listening to your students and be willing to know their needs and to teach with love. In the end, they will remember your name and everything you did in your function of role model for making a positive difference in their lives. I said, as Oscar Gonzalez, always be positive and use positive words when talking to and of your students. Show a positive attitude. Remember that they learn better by example than by advice. Lina Marcela Valencia um, said that, Challenge students to work hard and think critically as well as reflecting on your teaching practice. Share your ideas with your colleagues at work. They will help you to build better lessons for your students. Julia Africano mentions that when you develop empathy, you're able to teach and learn easily as well. Students do not need a perfect teacher. They need an inspiring leader who motivates, guides, and teaches them with passion, patience, and love. Giovanni, Giovanni Montagnier says that be aware of the, different, be, the difference between theory and practice. Recognize the type of students you are working with. At the university, you learned many methods and strategies, but they might not work at all if you do not know your students in advance. Luis Fernando Santa Cruz says, if you have, to put, if you have put a smile on their faces after some years, that is good teaching. Edward Reese mentions that being human is important to be empathetic, respectful, and just with your student. Julian Escobar says, be the change the world needs. Keep studying. 
Try to implement theory into practice, no matter if it seems hopeless. Try different things and keep track of it. Do not make your class a daily routine. Be passionate and love what you do. And so we have come to the end of this summary. Um, I hope that you have liked it. Um, we found a lot of ideas and many of those ideas were great, but we had to just come up with uh, some of the best of your whole ideas. Thank you very much for watching.